Okay, so real quick, what we have to do is get rid of Monitor, the other guy, and get that marble back, right? That's correct. Okay, so, Coin and Snowy, since you two are the final two and we need a challenge, your final challenge is to get the marble back. First one of you to bring it to me will win the show. Are you crazy? That guy's going to destroy the universe and he wants to steal a marble from them? I mean, it does make for an intense final challenge. Eh, true. Also, it's not just called the marble, it's referred to as the mole. What? Mole. It stands for Marble of Living Existence. It has the ability to bring animal objects to life or the other way around. Hence the name. It's probably where you objects even originated, honestly. Oh, that explains how he came to life. Didn't you always think he was alive, though? At least, that's what I heard. If I'll be honest, I always knew he wasn't alive. Wait, seriously? So, so we all thought you were crazy for basically no reason. Look, I just pretended, alright? I didn't want to admit he was just a bunch of paper I pulled together. I wanted to have a friend, okay? Uh, I don't think he was ever... No, it's so, Blue Rectangle wasn't always alive? No, I just made him out of paper cutouts. Then, considering the marble's power, brought him to life without realizing it. And yeah, that's about it. You know, I can kind of relate. That reminds me of Phone and how he was built for me to have a friend. Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, did you build him yourself? That'd be really cool if you did. Maybe you could fix Robot Towel since she is pretty damaged after Emperor 3 hacking her and causing No, her. I didn't build him. It was a person I knew who built it for me. Oh, well, I bet it felt great that someone built it for you. It was out of sympathy. Oh, well, I got nothing. Yeah. They realized I pretty much had no one back then. No one really liked me, so I guess they felt bad and built me a new friend. They even added some cool powers too. That was pretty cool. Well, I'm glad you have someone to talk to now. Yeah, I thought I was getting somewhere with Blue Rectangle. But, yeah, I just hope that wherever Phone is going, it'll be safe for him. I bet it'll all be fine. Yeah, thanks for listening, Blueberry. Hey, no problem. So, is this ship really going faster than the speed of light? Yep, but I tech, a lot of good things are possible. I can tell. Literally seeing galaxies whiz by me is surreal to me. I think it's giving me motion sickness. So, how long is this going to take? Please have patience here. Oh, I'm sorry. Having our galaxy set to be destroyed by tomorrow doesn't exactly make me want to be patient here. We are going as fast as we can go, literally faster than light. So stop talking! I'd say we'll be there in half an hour by now. So you guys can go explore the ship, I guess. Just let that be for now. He's really stressed over all this, and it can be best to leave him alone for now. Also, don't touch anything. No promises. Ow! Dude, now is not the time for your jokes and pranks. Fine. Okay, so we're in an alien ship. So it'd be best to stick together and make sure none of us get What's locked. in this room? <laughs> Yet again, here's my cue. Whoa. Look at that huge window. So pretty. I call the bed. No way, I need a place to sit down. Uh, 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 not, not as comfortable as I expected. Haha. <laughs> this stupid pillow isn't helpful either. Uh, whoa. A discovery has been found. What's under there? I, I don't know. Well, I'm too big to fit in there. A chance they're trying to get the in. Hate to say it, but I can't fit either. Well, you boys can go check it out for us. Yeah, adventure. Let's go. I guess you can too. Whoa, this is huge. There's a box over there. What's this? Fuck. I what? I wouldn't grab those. Those spheres seem to be made of pure plasma. You'd die trying to grab one. Okay, I won't touch the box then. Phoenix said not to touch anything anyway. Although, given that we're down here, I guess it doesn't matter now. What do you think these could do? These could be useful for the monitor fight. Heck, we could use this for the other guy too. They said the name is Monocro. Yeah, whatever. Seems like us objects don't have the power to sustain it. Looks like we'd have to get Orion and Phoenix to use this stuff. How are we gonna tell Phoenix why we found these spheres? They're gonna get mad! Who cares? Survival is more important. Say, guys, how are we gonna get out of here? I can fly. Yeah, cool, but what about us? How are we gonna hold on to you? Would we weigh you down? You both seem to be pretty white, mainly cork. Excuse me? Shut up, clock. Come on, let's go. Hey, are you idiots gonna come up here or what? 
Actually, can we stay down here? No, moron. Get back up here now. What if we don't want to? Did I ask you to speak? I don't know, did you? Come on, Cole, take us up. Got it. So, TV, do you like your old home? There is no way I actually live here. This is all I is it? I bet you're telling me all this just to get me closer to your side. This can't be real. Very real. In fact, I can prove it. Even though I wiped your memory, I wiped one memory. The perfect memory for me to prove everything. Oh, really? You really expect one memory to change everything? I doubt it. Tell me, what is your earliest memory? Well, August 3rd, 2016. Only memory from 2016, actually. Me with a plush doll. Man, I forgot about that thing. This thing? What? Mm-hmm. The same exact plush. One of a kind, too. No, me having the same plush is a bit too much of a deny, eh? Um... <clears throat> and, well... Stop denying the truth. I am your creator, and you are now staying with me. I want you out onto the object world for a good while, but I think that's enough of that. I don't want to stay here. I want to go back. I want to see my old pals in. Oh, uh, what's going on here? What's going on? TV, and before player, meet the other non electronic creations. Would you guys introduce yourselves? I got things I need to set up. Oh, uh, I'm number four. This is number one, number two, and number five. What? We're three. Deceased? Yeah, apparently some accident happened that we weren't aware of, but we're still here. My purpose was to make the fashion subject possible. Want to see that again? Did, did you even move? My purpose is to demonstrate intelligence, which these dimwits aren't too good at. And how did you do that? I don't want to talk about it. I'm supposed to test out invincibility. <laughs> That didn't work well. Well, there was an accident in the test, but at least I didn't die. I can demonstrate my totally awesome strength. Watch this. That's kind of impressive. But are you guys' only purpose to just test something? We were made since Mono wanted the strongest being to exist. I saw, but, but isn't that bad? You guys' only purpose is to make something meant to destroy another universe. Isn't that kind of messed up? Huh. Never thought of it like that. You never think. And? Oh, you got the bed. Yeah. While you were gone, we found... <sighs> well, you guys got back in pretty good timing. We're riding through the galaxy we need to go to. Whoa, look at that thing. There's multiple small ones around it. This galaxy must be huge. Yep, it says to be one of the biggest galaxies known. It's amazing. It's an optical galaxy. Yes, Ford, yes. That's not important right now. Oh, Orion, you're back! Hope you're doing better. I saw we're arriving. I'll meet you at the exit. <sighs> I really hope this all works out. You guys stay here. Yeah, these guys here probably don't know us, and we want to make sure we get on the good side. We'll come back to the guys when we sort things out. State your providence and reasons you arrive. Uh, yeah. We come to the galaxy falter, specifically for the mood wood of the Malphira mood system. It's come here for a bit to create something. A galaxy is under attack by a very powerful creature, and we want to create something to destroy this said creature. It can destroy an entire galaxy by tomorrow, and we don't have time to waste. Very well then. Give us a moment. That was good. Nice job, Phoenix. So, those guys are gonna help us? They look... weird. So what? They're probably way more powerful than you. But, heh, <laughs> that's not much saying. Oh, don't you start! Stop arguing! Wait, don't. This is funny. You are free to enter. Oh, uh, we have these other guys? They're objects. Interesting. Yeah, they're part of the... After scanning their intelligence, these guys are the stupidest creatures we've ever encountered. Well, that isn't a surprise. So, are we allowed to let them come with us? They are allowed. Just make sure they don't destroy any property. Our leader would like to meet with you about your predicament. Oh, thank you! Okay, uh, Phoenix, uh, go get everyone, okay? Okay. So then I had to grab everyone after falling into the ocean? Dude, 
your electronic. Yeah, aren't you like allergic to water? Are you waterproof or something? Yeah. I'm hey, everyone, you're free to go in. Come on. Finally. Sweet. Let's go, gang. This place is beautiful. It was built a giga and them ago. A uh, giga and a what? A giga annuum is a billion years. Yes, our talented craftsmen have created this building. Will it be possible to meet them? They are deceased. Oh. Besides, you have a more important meeting to attend to. You may go in here. Greetings. You know, despite the fact that everything in the universe can be destroyed soon, this is so, so cool! I cannot wait to tell Stewie about this! Who's Streetlight? My old buddy back at home. We've been good friends for as long as I can remember. Ooh, sounds cool! Yeah, we've done all sorts of crazy things together. I remember a time they had to help me get out of TV once and- Oh, dang it! You were on TV once? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll- Oh, I'll do this. We got trapped here once at- at the time, the only person who was there was a beautiful player who, while I was there, one man made of uh, that guy, the evil coin, not that guy. Anyways, they had to help me get out of there once, and actually, from what I heard, used Bucket to get me out. Guess we didn't notice, and we forgot her there. <laughs> so that explains why she hates you so much. Oh no, she's just angry about that. In reality, she, she loves me. I wouldn't go that far, but sure. How did you and TV meet? Oh, I remember this one small club me and my buddies had. One of them invited TV and said that she was new to the place and I wanted to treat her well, but I didn't think they meant it literally by new. Like, as in they weren't even from this planet and they just suddenly appeared, you know? Huh, well, this is interesting. Yeah, I, I guess. The point is I just want to go home and see Streetlight again. I'm sure he's curious how I am and not see it for like Two years really gets to you, you know? I understand. Let me encourage you a bit here. Once we finish these guys off, you'd be more than fine to go home, okay? I guess. Good. Cheer up, dude. I'm rooting for you here. Yeah, thanks. Say, uh, I'm gonna go for a minute. Need to see how Snowy's doing. You do that. Yeah, it's starting to feel like we're not even competing anymore. Hey, Snowy! How is the game treating you? Well... Kinda weird. I'm glad I've gotten this far, but I don't know how much I want to win. Nor does it feel like I'm even competing anymore, to be honest. What does that mean? We're getting challenges that are near impossible to do. Like this. Destroy a giant monster. Then fight another one. Then get something back from them? How does anyone even think we can do that? Even then, the people who aren't even competing get to do more. Those guys left to speak with some higher species or something. Yeah. Well, do you really want to win? Of course I'd like to win. I'd love that. But I guess it's just kind of losing the spark on me. With everything going to where we can't do anything anymore, it makes me feel like there kind of isn't, isn't even a point anymore. I don't really know how to describe it. I get that. It seems that neither of you guys are too motivated for the competition anymore, eh? I just don't think it's even worth it anymore, I guess. Yeah, well, hey, I think you have a good chance to win. I'm rooting for you. Thanks, I guess. No problem. Keep your head up. Why did you say I'm rooting for you to both of them? Look, I just wanted to make them feel better, okay? So you don't really mean those things, but you're saying it anyway? Not cool, Notebook. Try to be nice, alright? These two are already stressed enough as is. And I want to make them feel better about themselves, so maybe cut it out with your attitude for once, hmm? Whatever. So my plan is this. We can quickly make you guys a giant suit, and then put one of your objects in there and have them shoot some sort of powerful ammunition at the creature. Oh, this sounds really complicated. So is your face. Wait, how can you guys make some sun giant food immediately? We're very skilled with our crafting. Your suit will be created in about five minutes. However, there might be a problem. We don't know if we have the powerful ammunition you need to destroy a creature like that. Actually, we... Zip it! They're not supposed to know! No way! Nothing! It's... nothing. We... We found some magic spears hidden in a com secret compartment of the ship. Oh, those things! I completely forgot about them! That's exactly what we need! Wait, so... Thank you guys so much for reminding me! What are you talking about? We found some very powerful spheres in the ship we were on. Yeah, that's exactly what we need for ammunition. They made a plasma over with power. Hmm. 
I think that'll work quite well. Great. Next fight's with a pad of the blood. Well, we all- I found it. It was all because of me. Move over, clock. We all found it together. If phone wasn't there, you'd be a pile of ashes right now. Shut up. Okay, so we have everything planned out, I guess? Yeah, I think we'll be able to do this now. So now we have to wait. Yeah. What do we do now? Well, we can go back to the ship for a bit and- Hey, the suit is done. What? How? Yeah. Well, that's even better. Okay, come on. Let's go. We have to get back. Oh, we can just teleport you back. Oh, really? Yeah, since you're in a rush, we can just teleport your ship right next to your galaxy. Well, all right then. Everyone, get back into the ship. We're going back to our galaxy. Thanks for everything. Yep. Good luck defeating the monster. <sighs> Good. Hopefully they destroy it for us. Oh, they're back. Right, let's make a stop by an asteroid then. Okay, you got the weapon? Yep. What, the 89 degree angle? How is that supposed to help us? Well, I'd better get that if we open it. It'll turn into a giant suit. That's at least what I'm guessing when they gave us this. Well, all right then. Okay, we need the strongest object to wear this suit to fight the screen monster. Who wants to go? No, AD. Okay. Well, I hate to say it, but I think the strongest of all of us is Towel. What? Towel, you're like the, the strongest one here. Please, just do this. Yeah, uh, do it for Blue Rectangle. Let's do this. Yeah, you got this. What happened to my tail evil coin? <laughs> They'll be fine. Let me in on that suit. Oh, yeah. You guys make sure to keep an eye on that monster, right? What monster? Yeah, totally. Hey, where's that monster? Uh, I see it way over there. And it's getting bigger? Why on earth would... Uh... Okay, that's enough talking! Go, go, go! Okay, you sure you got this towel? As sure as I'll ever be. Just in case, if anything goes wrong, Oh well. Good luck, person who got the least votes join Vu, buddy! It's time to give you what you deserve. That's what you get! Ha! Incoming! Ah! Perfume! I got it! I got it! Why did you save me? So you didn't die? Why else would I have saved you? If you caught the button, then you could have recovered me. Hey. Oh, great. Button's gone. Not much we can do about that now. That's why I need to like do it. That's why I think we just like the blue. Just give me the blue. Jeez. I hope Towel gets out of this one. What do you think, Phone? What? Phone! Phone, no! Dear Digital Diary, Two years ago, I started continuing along with 14 other participants on a miniature flat scaled island, along with my friend, Mac. Back then, I had some interest in this one object, named Monitor. She seemed like she meant well, but in current day, that is unfortunately not the case. All my fellow contestants, former teammates, and the failed debuters' lives are at risk. It is now my honor to give up my short-lasting life for these people, especially Mac. It was fun living. Sorry, Mac. You move on to great things. I know how you are. And I believe in you. Thank you. Thank you for being the best friend an electronic could ask for. Goodbye. Haha! <laughs> w! We killed her. We did it.
is no one going to point out how the weapon this powerful species gave us failed and the only reason we lived is because of phone? Mac? Mac! Ah. Hey, idiot, wake up! Oh. Hi, Three Ball. Yeah, hey. L look, you doing okay? Does it look like I am? Look, I'm not in the mood for your sarcasm right now. Come on, tell me what's up. It's just... I can't believe Phone would sacrifice his whole life for us. My one and only friend... is gone. Forever. I have no friends now. It was just him. And now I have nobody. Have you... tried making up a friend? I have. But nobody cared about me as much as Phone did. Listen, Mac. Would Phone want you to be acting like this right now? I know he wouldn't. Phone did something that a lot of us wouldn't have the strength and or even bravery to do. He wanted us to stay alive. He didn't want us sad. He wanted us to be happy. The sacrifice he made cannot be forgotten. He wouldn't want you to be depressed, but excited. Your best friend single-handedly saved the whole universe. Lighten up, since something like that might not happen in the future. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Anyway, bye. Wait, three ball. What? I just wanted to say that, since I don't really have any friends at this point, will you be my friend? Mac, that giant speech I made was honestly only to make you feel better. While I do appreciate the offer, I'd rather keep things mutual. Don't get me wrong, you're pretty cool, but I'm not one who immediately jumps into friendships. I hope you can understand, because if you don't, it's not my problem. Well, that's the first part of the problem. Now we need to go get that model. Monica. Yeah, them. We need to go get them and take the bubble back. I mean, it's no your coins child to get the marble. Why don't we just relax and let them do it? Oh, no, we are not. The marble is not going to be taken by those two alone. We all have to work together. What happens if we all get the marble at once without either of the two finalists? The show can't end with a tie like that. We get there when we get there. Okay? How did they even, you know, leave the universe like that? They have a powerful item. Yeah, the marble. But what does that have no, to- No, something else. They have an item that from a different universe I presumably destroyed. He showed it. But some sort of butter knife, and from what I thought, it can cut the very fabric of our universe and cause him to escape into a different one. I think I may be of assistance. Uh, how so? Well... Before Bell rudely interrupted me back then, not only can I tell the temperature, I am also able to transport messages. But I can also use you guys like messages in a way. Basically, I can be used as a portal to a different universe. What? It's just a power. Everyone has their abilities. Huh. If everyone has their abilities, I wonder what mine is. The power of being an idiot. That's what. Gee, thanks. Anywho, hop in. We're going to catch that cook. Alright, Phoenix, you're coming with me. Gotcha. Point and angle, you two up for the task? I'm Heck on yeah. It. However, Perfume, we do need to spare a couple of your objects as a way of distraction. What? No way! Don't worry, we only need the strong ones. I... Okay. Any volunteers? Too close for comfort, but sure. Yeah, you go, lady. I'm coming with you. No, you stay. If you go, death you will pay. Okay. Good luck, buddy. Thanks. Don't worry, my fellow objects. As a proud superhero, I shall risk my life in this battle. Quinn and, and Sonoi, you two should go as you're the final two, and this is the perfect moment for the final challenge. I guess, but I don't get why we're putting our lives on the line just for a stupid yes, marvel. Yes, I can tell Sue about this when I get back. That is, if you can make it out alive. You saw what that marble did to your rectangle, friend. Be careful with your words, or else he'll make sure you're lifeless, too. Enough talk. Let's get a move on. Right. Everyone, follow me. Good luck, Snowy. Well, they're gone. Hope everything goes well. Well, they're gone, let me do a quick head count. Hey, uh... Has anyone seen that weird blonde hair thing? You mean this guy? Yeah, them. Um, where is this guy anyway?
what is 